In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can convert your website from HTTP to HTTPS protocol. So nowadays, every website has to be HTTPS enabled. Otherwise, you will get a lot of warning messages and browsers will not allow users to visit your website because that will be not protected or uh, the data will not be protected and users data can be stolen if the website is not HTTPS enabled. So here is one way to make your website HTTPS enabled. What you can do is create account on Cloudflare and then add your website. So once your website is added, you can see here button add website. So you can add a website and then uh, here you can uh, see one website I have selected softforce.org. So what I'm doing is I'm using this Cloudflare to make this website HTTPS enabled. Earlier my website was only HTTP uh, protocol enabled. But uh, using Cloudflare, I am able to convert my website into HTTPS enabled. Now, uh, what you need to do is couple of settings uh, the, that are very important. First one is the name servers for this domain have to be set to this, this thing prop.ns.cloudflare.com and serena.ns.cloudflare.com. So, what it is telling is that uh, whenever you are users will be uh, typing your address website address in the browsers then those name servers will be contacted these ones cloudflare servers will be contacted and then cloudflare will uh, take decisions like how to route the traffic and there are a lot of other settings uh, here that you need to uh, look at first one is dns management for the softpost.org so here we are setting the DNS records. First one is a record. So a record is very simple. All we are doing here is mapping our website name or the domain name to the IP address. So your website may be hosted on different uh, machine. So you, you have to find out the public IP address of that machine. So for me, this is my IP address uh, for this uh, domain. And uh, you can see here this proxy. That means what is happening here is that when the requests are coming for this domain, Cloudflare is acting as a middleman. So requests are going to the Cloudflare server and then from that uh, Cloudflare the requests are being forwarded to this IP address. Here you can see this proxy that means Cloudflare is acting as a proxy server here. The next one is www. So this record is also very important uh, CNAME. This record is called a CNAME. So basically uh, what we are telling here is that whenever user types www.softpost.org uh, What is the IP address? How it should resolve the IP address? So we are telling it that refer softpost.org uh, a record. So it will come here and then from here it will know that okay the IP address is this one. So that's how it will resolve that subdomain. And then uh, you can ignore this txt record. This one I have added for the Google verification. You may not need it. So that's it. This setting is required to be done in the DNS. Next section is SSL and TLS. So this is where the magic happens. So what you have to do is in here you have to select this uh, SSL uh, mode as flexible. So with flexible you can see the browser request comes to the Cloudflare and this connection is encrypted. And from the Cloudflare to your web server, this connection is not secure. So again, there is a uh, like uh, the connections are not secure, but from the browser perspective, your website is secure. So for the end users, the warning messages will not be shown. But if you want to use your website for the e-commerce applications, then this setting is not recommended. What you have to do is you have to select full strict. So if you select full strict, you can see entire connection is secured and uh, this certificate have to be installed on your web server as well so that is extra setting that you will have to do but if your website is not e-commerce application like it is not an e-commerce it is just some for example it is just a tutorial or that kind of website or blogging platform where you are not uh, capturing the user details or the credit card details then in that case flexible option is the best one i don't think we should go for the full or the strict you should go for the full and strict only if you are capturing the user details you are making the payments processing payments on your website and uh, if you want to select full strict you will also have to install the certificate as well on the web server but for now uh, i have selected flexible so that is one setting that you need to remember 
Next one is if you go to the age certificates, here you have to, by default, uh, Cloudflare will give you the certificates. So this is the certificates that are sent to the end users. And always, uh, there is one setting, always use HTTPS. So you have to turn it on. So what happens is that all the requests coming on this protocol, HTTP will be forwarded to HTTPS. So this is also important. The next setting is minimum TLS version you can select or you can keep it uh, as the default one. And uh, automatic HTTPS rewrites, you have to turn it on. So what happens here is that it helps fix mixed content by changing HTTP to HTTPS. So what happens is that most of the WordPress websites uh, like load the data in HTTP uh, URLs. So if you want to prevent that, what happens is that the URL rewriting happens. That means if the like request is coming in the HTTP format, Cloudflare will convert that into the HTTPS and then uh, URLs will be rewritten. That way, what happens is that uh, all the you will not get the mixed content error. Otherwise, browser will complain that oh, uh, the web server you are uh, trying to load these like. Um, URLs or the unsecured connection and then warning messages will be displayed. So if you do want to prevent that you can use this automatic HTTPS rewrites and uh, by default this uh, universal SSL is enabled that that's how uh, your website is uh, shown like uh, in with a lock icon as you can see this lock icon. So if you turn on all the settings your website will be shown with this icon. So that means this uh, website is using valid certificate. Uh, that's it. I think uh, we don't need to do any other settings. So other settings are required if you want to do uh, like strict uh, strict mode. But for the flexible mode, all those settings are uh, required. The ones that I just showed you. That's all. That's how you can convert your HTTP website into HTTPS. If you have any questions uh, related to this setup, let me through the comments and I will try to help you as much as possible. See you in next video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.